Good morning, you guys. Happy Friday. Happy Friday to you, baby. Yes, happy Friday, y'all. We made it to Friday. What a blessing. Okay, what a blessing. Look here, if this is your first time tuning in, thank you so much. Thank you so much for, for tuning in today and, and watching my video till the end. Look, thank you for watching my video till the end. Yes. Hi. Look, he think I'm crazy like him. Look. So anyway, if this is your first time tuning in, thank you. Hit that subscribe button to help your girl out. Subscribe, like, share, and comment. I do like to interact with, with, um, with all you guys. I'm so happy to be here to say good morning to you guys today. I, I'm on my way to a doctor's appointment. And I stopped by and got my my uh, green tea. My green tea. Went to Starbucks and got look, look, just just greedy. Got me one of them cheese Danishes, y'all. Have you guys ever had the cheese Danish? They are so good. If you haven't had it, you need to try it. Look and um. I know, I don't need y'all to tell me. I'm supposed to be watching my carbs, and I am. It's okay to have a little something, something every now and then. Because I've been doing good. I really have. And I decided to have me a little Danish this morning. But for lunch, I got my crackers, and I have some cheese. I have cheese and salami. And crackers. I have a few crackers. I only got like maybe a serving, like eight up, eight little saltine crackers. But um, but I can eat these without crackers. I may not eat, since I'm having this. I may not even eat the crackers because I can I can eat this. I can do that. And I'm gonna go get me a couple of boiled eggs. Mmm, mmm. This right here. I love the cheese Danish. And they also have, which I, I, I looked at too. She, I was have to, I was ordering my stuff. She said anything else? I wanted to say, yeah, give me that chocolate croissant, but I didn't, y'all. <laughs> Look, I didn't. That chocolate croissant is everything. It is everything. Try it. The chocolate um, croissant. Oh my God. Was this cheese Danish? Oh, you guys. I had such a hard week this week, you guys. Mm. I need you guys mm, to throw good vibes out for me. Okay? Mm. Because this was a hard week for me. Mm. As far as work and stuff and personal stuff too it's kind of it's kind of hard you know because grieving is so strange when you grieve a loss people don't understand it's not just a death like i'm grieving a death but you can also when you grieve a loss it's like that if you've been with somebody for a long time a new relationship and then you guys don't make it and you break up even though it hurts you at first because nothing that's good for you you know if, when things are good for you sometimes it hurts in the beginning and sometimes we have to make decisions that are uncomfortable for us in the beginning but that too that that pain shall too pass as, as well but it's like I be having thoughts of my father coming in and it's like I can't believe he's gone. I know he's gone. I'm not in denial because denial is not believing he is. I know he is. But I'm still in shock like, damn, he's really gone. You know what I'm saying? Have you guys ever grieved um, a death or a person in your life? Same thing with a, a breakup. It's like you grieve you be crying, you be going through your changes. 
when you grieve. But it, it 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 will it will pass. It will get better. It will get easier. You know when when you love a loved one and they pass away, you will never ever forget that person ever. That person will always live close in your heart. I promise you. But as time go on, it'll be easier. Your coping will be easier. It'll be easier. And sometimes we feel guilty. Like if a person close to us dying, your mother, your father, your brother, your sister, someone you're close to, they pass you away. And life still goes on. We still got to get up, brush our teeth, wash our face. We still got to deal with our other siblings, the other parent that we have left, our kids, our job. We still have to live. But it'll be easier for you as time go on. Some people feel guilty when they are not grieving anymore. They feel like if they don't grieve, if they're not crying, if they're not thinking about that person every day, that they don't love that person or they just forgot about that person. No, you didn't. Forget. The pain settles down and it's easier. Believe me, it's easier. I lost my grandmother who I was really close to and she's been gone now like over 20 years. I always think about her. You know, I always remember the things that she said to me in the, in the, in, in the times we shared, just like with my father. You will never forget those times. But it's not, it's hard. I don't cry anymore. I don't, you know, it's like I did before. Time, as time go on, you'll feel better. You'll feel, you, it won't be as, as, as hard. And you don't have to feel guilty because you moved on. You have to move on. Life is still going on. Life is still moving. Look at all the cars that's going down the street. Life still goes on. We have to deal with it in a way to we, we, where we can live with it. If there's anyone out there that's lost a loved one and you are grieving and you're having a hard time coping, I want to tell you that as time go on, your pain won't be as hard as it is right now. You still will always love that person. That person will always be dear in your heart. But at, there's a point where you have to move on with life. You can't stay in a grieve mode forever because you still have life. You still have to work. You, you still have to get up, deal with your coworkers, deal with your customers, whoever you're dealing with. You can't go to work depressed. You know, your boss, you know, at, at your job, eventually they're going to be like, look, can you not handle this job anymore? I mean, they, life goes on. You know, and, I, and I'm, I'm, I hate to say it's so raw and uncut, but you would never forget about that person. But you have to, you have to, to move on with your life. You can't stay in a grieve mode. And I'm not saying don't forget about that. You will never, ever forget about that person. You will never forget about them. But you can't stay in this same spot like this. Because you have other people depending on you. You have yourself that you have to depend on. And that's part of healing. It'll help you be stronger. You know? And um, if you're on a job that's stressing you out that's making you 
to where you can't cope, take care of yourself. We have to have self-care because if something were to happen to you and you were to die, yes, they will send a card to your family, hopefully. But then there would be an ad in the paper or, or email going out. We got a position open in the such and such department. And within a week, the position, your position will be, will be filled. Okay? So, no. We have to move on with life. We have to deal with, with our pain in a productive way. You know what I'm saying? So it's been kind of hard for me. And I'm not just saying it to you. I'm saying it to me too. It is hard, you guys. It is hard. And even with a breakup, when you break up with somebody, after all that time y'all been together, you just stuck by that person through thick and thinner. You have been there. You have supported that person. You have, you have held that person up. You have encouraged that person to no end. You have picked that person up when they fail. You have just been that strong woman or that strong man to that person. And then they show you their true self and y'all end up breaking up. <coughs> Excuse me. Yes, you're going to be hurt. Yes, you're going to mourn that relationship. Because you have put time in. Okay, as we start getting older, it's time that we're losing. Time. We have no time, you guys. We have no time. We do not know when our, our, our destination is up. We do not know when our time is up. We have to live happy. We have to be happy. If you're in a situation and you're not happy, we have to do something to, to make ourselves happy. To get out of that situation. You know, and in the beginning, if it is a breakup, you're going to be hurting. You're going to cry. You're going to go through your stages. You're going to go through it, but that too shall pass. You will make it. You will come out of it. But we have to have self-care. We have to. Especially if you have children. We have to be here for our children. So if you're in a relationship, sometimes making a decision like that to leave a person, sometimes making a decision in your life that will help you in the end is uncomfortable in the beginning. It's, it, some things that we have to do for ourselves is uncomfortable. Some decisions that we have to make is uncomfortable in the beginning. It is very hard. But in the end, we'll be okay, you guys. We'll be okay. I just wanted to share that little bit with you because I had a hard week this week. Not just because of what I'm going through with, you know, with the loss of my dad. But just job and personal things with him. You know, just, you know, when you be in a relationship, it's just sometimes two people, sometimes you grow apart. And that can really happen. Sometimes you grow apart. Sometimes one person is growing and they're trying to, to change and be better. And they try to be all that they can be. But that other person, you know, if they're, if they're not trying to be all they can be and they're not trying to be up with you, it, you know, sometimes, you know, that's hard, too. And I'm not saying I'm going through that, but I'm just saying that does happen. And, um... In relationships you do grow apart you guys so mm, this green tea is really good but you guys I wanted to come and say good morning to you and tell you that anybody out there that is grieving because I'm grieving but I'm, I'm still got to move on if there's anybody out there that is grieving and you're staying stuck in that it's okay to move on with your life Please don't feel guilty because you have to move on with life. You will never forget about that person. That person will always be in your heart. But you, we have to move on with life. We have to keep going. We have to. Life don't stop. It doesn't stop. It doesn't. And you don't want the rest of your life to be hindered 
because you're grieving over a loss of a person that's that's gone that's no longer here they would want you to move on they will want you to live they will want you to 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 keep doing what you're doing they would want you to do that okay so that's all I'm that's all I wanted to say because I'm going through that myself but anyway today is a good day today is Friday I hope you watch my video to the end okay and so how do I always end my video you guys keep your head up your chest out your nose level do you know one of my pet peeves one of them I cannot stand for a person to always be frowning always be like this with their nose in the air and if they nose are in there in the air they always frowning you always think they mad but then after you get with them, they not mad. It, but they always come across with their nose all stuck in the air. Or, or they always frowning because they feeling something inside. They feeling a certain way about themselves. And they always frowning. And they always, you know, all like this all the time. That is so, I, I cannot stand that. I cannot stand for a person to just walk around always frowned up and always looking like that. It's no, it, it don't. Don't. You guys keep a smile on your face. I know it's hard. I'm smiling now. I don't, I'm not smiling inside. I'm not. I'm not smiling right now inside. I'm not. But I'm smiling on the outside, which is actually helping me do this video. It's actually helping me. Every time I smile, it's like, I'm telling you, it's like an endorphin. It makes you feel better. It makes you feel hopeful. You know, this hope. There is. There's hope, you guys. Don't give up hope. And don't let nobody hook you in their shit today. If somebody's feeling the way they're feeling, and they walk around like that and doing all like this, keep it moving. Don't let nobody hook you in their shit today. Okay? Just don't. Don't give away your joy. Don't, don't just hand your joy over like this. God gave you that joy for a reason. You woke up with that joy for a reason. And they don't even know. You might have had to struggle to get that joy. Like me. I struggled this morning to get the little joy that I have. I have a little joy today. I had to struggle to get this joy. Do you think I'm just going to give it away? And I have to fight to get it? I have to... Sometimes we have to fight to make ourselves happy. We have to fight to make ourselves not mad. We have to fight to make ourselves not depressed. We have to fight. We have to fight to keep ourselves motivated. We have to fight within ourselves to keep ourselves motivated, to, to keep ourselves together. We have to fight to do that. I had to fight to get up this morning. To go to the work and to the doctor. Sometimes we have to fight to get out the bed. Sometimes we be going through so much and we have to. It's a struggle just to get out of the bed because of the things that we're going through. But when we finally get out that bed and we finally find some kind of hope and some kind of joy. And then you just going to give it away. Hell no. All that fighting you did to get that joy and you're going to give it away. No, you guys. Do not do that. Okay? Now, another thing. Come check game. I always tell y'all this. Okay? But I ain't even going to tell you. I'm not even going to tell you to stay sucker free. Because you already know that. I already be telling you that. Okay, so until the next video, peace.